Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of Target's Player Builds, where I take a real NHL player as they are in NHL 14 and recreate them for your use in NHL 14, EASHL, OTP, whatever you want to drop in games, yada, yada, yada. On the docket for today, we have the, the other attainable player. We did uh, Paul Stastny last time. It was uh, Chara before that. And so now it's time to do the other, sorry, non-attainable player, if I said attainable. Non-attainable. We're going to be doing the new center for the Dallas Stars. Number 19, Jason Spezza, formerly the Ottawa Senators, dealt this offseason. Alex Chasen going back the other way. All right, let's jump right in here. Let's take a look and see exactly how he is. Uh, before we go into this, I'll tell you right now, he's six foot three, 220 pound center. That's all you need to know. I keep everything else pretty much the same. 11 inch stick or 11 inch blades, uh, neutral curve, mid neutral curve, whatever, whatever it is. Just the just the regular stock stuff. All right, let's take a look at the hockey shot first. All right, so wrist shot power plus seven, wrist shot accuracy plus seven, and wrist shot power plus five. You're going to do speed plus 7, speed plus 5, agility plus 7, acceleration plus 7, and then balance and strength both at plus 7. You'll do passing, deking, and puck control at plus 7, okay? Let's take a look at the attributes now. 90 deking. Hand eyes only 81, but I think you'll be able to manage, okay? Uh, offensive awareness 87. Passing at 88. Puck control at 87. Slap shot accuracy 67. And then wrist shot accuracy 88. Wrist shot power 87. On defense, your defense awareness, you're going to get that to 84. Your face-offs to 92. And stick checking to 82. Athleticism, 86 acceleration. 87 agility. 84 balance. 78 durability. 85 endurance. 87 speed. Pardon me, I bumped the mic. And 80 strength, okay? I think with this build, you guys are going to find that uh, it's actually really, really useful in terms of hitting. I feel like that's what's going to happen because he is a big frame. 6'3", 220. He should be able to hit pretty good, I'm hoping. So once when I come back here, we're going to be in at, at the end of the game, and I'll give you my review of how I thought Jason Spezza played. Okay, guys? So we'll see you on the other side here. All right, guys. Well, the game is over. Final score, it was 5-4 to four for the other team. It came down to the wire. What a great game. And I got to tell you, I really enjoyed this build. Uh, we're going to go through some of the highlights very shortly here, but we'll just take a look at some of the in-depth stats. First off, obviously we lost five to four shots. Though we're 36 to 15 in our favor. That's a phenomenal number. We were firing everything we had at these guys. Uh, the funny thing was the other team was all on one club in one drop-in game. Give me a flipping break. What a bunch of losers. Anyway, uh, hits were dead even at 27. Time on attack: seven minutes and 17 seconds to 5:16. A full. Two-minute time on attack advantage for our team. Our passing was better. Uh, we had fewer penalty minutes. Our power play was more effective than theirs. Um, face-offs, though. Look at the face-offs. I was center, obviously. 20-6 to six were the face-offs against a club, basically. So these guys play together all the time, and you can kind of suspect that the guys are playing the right positions. Uh, they had three one-timer goals. We each had one breakaway. So that kind of came down to it is what the, the cause was. Three stars of the game. I'm number one with four goals, seven hits, and 13 shots. Finished with a minus two, but what a game. What a game for us. I will take a look at the stats here, or the highlights very quickly here. First goal of the game is scored by me. Hold on. I'm scored by myself. And it's just picking up a simple rebound in front of the net. My hand, eye, and offense awareness were both high enough to be able to touch this. One thing that I found the whole game that was happening was tipping the pucks, getting getting the loose pucks, connecting with passes. I had no problem with those with my hand, eye, at 81. So I don't think you guys will either. Uh, then they scored a couple. Then I scored my second goal. Kind of the same thing. Little rebound, second rebound. Put it, I, think I, I don't know if I put a five hole on the second rebound. No. Just put it beside the pad. He gave me all the space in the world. And then right after that, a few minutes later, I got a, a good goal here. Just deked him and then just put it over the shoulder. You know, that's a standard, standard goal. But having that nice, the nice long stick that Spezza has, it really dekes out the, the goaltender a lot. And then I had a good old snipe here. The last goal of the game. Look at this. Walked in and just cranks it past this goalie. Absolutely massive shot. Let's just look. Here's a good view. Obviously, these are great shots that you can execute at many times, depending on how good of a shooter your guy is. Obviously, this guy's got a good shot. Now, one of the things that I mentioned was the hits. I had seven hits in the game, and before I before the game started, I said or that uh, I believe that he might be able to, sh to hit pretty well, too. So let's assess the hits, okay? So in the first period, I hit on this Oshi. Look at this hit. Boom! 
absolutely bone-crushing hit. Now, you're not going to be knocking down the big guys, and you're not going to be, you know, rough and tough with everybody. But the little guys, if you've got enough speed and momentum, you're going to be crushing them, so you can take advantage of it. Uh, in the second period, I think I did have a hit as well. Yeah, right here on Berglund. So another guy, he's not as small as Oshi was, but you can see that I'm still able to connect with a good, solid check. Caught him on the shoulder, actually rotated the body and ended up on the numbers, but it's a good, clean hit, no penalty assessed. In the third period, I think I had a couple hits. Here's one on Oshi again, the little guy. Absolutely steamrolled him coming through center ice and injured him. Ended up having to fight on that play. So yeah, it was just the one hit. So three... Three full, uh, replay worthy hits out of the seven. That's not too bad for a big playmaker with absolutely zero body checking, if you do ask if you ask me. So not bad. Now, like I said, one of the other thing was my guy was tipping pucks all the time. Um, and good shooting. So if I were to give this player a good like a review, if I were to give it a solid review, you guys will enjoy this player a lot. Uh, for those of you that are used to speed and lots of acceleration. You probably won't like it as much. For those of you that you typically use a power forward build or a bigger frame, uh, usually you play defense, you know, you like to be the setup guy. Jason Spezza can be that guy. He's got good passing. He's got a great shot. He can be everything. In this game, I was the goal scorer. But you know what? You can be a playmaker too. And I found that with the guys that I was playing with, a lot of them, a lot of the the goals and the the plays were, came off of... Uh, build up you know there was build up playmaking build up and I was uh, contributing to that portion as well so I mean the game is um, or the, the the build is actually really good I think you guys will really enjoy it you'll have a lot of fun with it he doesn't get knocked off the puck very easily because of his big frame and heavy body and uh, you know what he's got that long reach which is really nice it's good for deflecting pucks it's good for picking up loose pucks and it's good for deking so I think that you guys will really really enjoy this one a lot don't forget to put a comment down below and let me uh, tell me what you think. If you do happen to use this build, make sure to let me know. Make sure to put a comment down below as well to that effect saying, I hey, target, I use this build, and this is how it worked out for me. Let me know because it's one game can't tell the entire story, right? And every build plays differently for every single player, right? It's just the way this game works. So, anyway, we'll stop it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you get to enjoy Jason Spezza out on the ice. Until next time, I'm Target Audience, and I'll catch you guys out on the ice.